Ukraine has reportedly struck a Su-57 fighter stationed at an airbase in Aktubinsk, around 589 kilometers from the front line. The attack was carried out by three Ukrainian suicide drones and could represent the first ever combat loss of the Su-57 fighter aircraft. The fighter jet is believed to have sustained serious damage and is currently being examined to determine if it can be repaired. The Su-57 is the most advanced fighter in the Russian arsenal and is renowned for its advanced avionics, extreme maneuverability, and stealth features. The Ukrainian strike on the Su-57 is indicative of Ukraine's growing capabilities and also demonstrates its ability to target critical infrastructure deep into hostile territory. Russia has for the first time deployed its new 2S-43 Malva self-propelled howitzer in Ukraine. The gun has reportedly been deployed in the Kharkiv province and is being used to destroy bridges and other infrastructure. The 2S-43 Malva is a truck-mounted self-propelled howitzer system that features a 152mm gun capable of striking targets at ranges of up to 40 kilometers. The gun has been fitted atop a 8x8 truck chassis and boasts of fully automated firing and loading systems. The wheeled nature of the Malva allows for rapid deployment and high operational flexibility and makes it a valuable addition to Russia's artillery arsenal. Following recent orders from the German army, the Panzerhaubitze 2000 howitzer has re-entered production at the KNDS Deutschland facility in Germany. The German army had recently ordered 22 PZH 2000 systems with an option to procure six more. The new systems are intended to replace the 14 units that were supplied to Ukraine from the German army's reserves. The PZH-2000 features a 155mm 52 caliber gun that's mounted on a tracked chassis. The gun boasts of a maximum firing range of up to 67 kilometers and features an automatic shell loading system and an advanced fire control computer. The PZH-2000 is capable of reaching speeds of up to 60 kilometers per hour and boasts of an operational range of over 400 kilometers, the recent orders for the PZH-2000 howitzers will play a vital part in ensuring the operational readiness of the German army while Germany continues to aid Ukraine in its conflict against Russia. Ukraine is all set to receive three German-funded HIMARS multiple rocket launch systems in the next few days. The weapon systems are to be sourced from the current stock of the U.S. Armed Forces and are expected to cost Germany around $30 million. The M142 HIMARS is a highly versatile artillery system capable of firing either six MLRS rockets or one ATACMS missile. The United States has so far delivered 20 HIMARS systems to Ukraine, three of which have reportedly been compromised. The German-funded HIMARS are intended to serve as replacements for the damaged systems and are expected to play a crucial role in sustaining Ukraine's artillery capabilities against Russia. In order to address the critical requirement of advanced air defense systems in the Middle East, Iraq has urgently sought eight batteries of the M-SAM-2 air and ballistic missile defense system from South Korea. Developed by the Agency for Defense Development and manufactured by Lignex-1, the M-SAM-2 is considered to be amongst the best air defense systems in its category. It offers robust defense against various aerial threats, including aircrafts, cruise missiles, and ballistic missiles. The M-SAM-2 boasts of an effective range of around 40 kilometers and employs hit-to-kill technology to neutralize incoming threats. This technology significantly enhances the probability of a successful interception and minimizes the risk of collateral damage. The M-SAM-2 also features an advanced radar system that is capable of detecting and tracking multiple targets simultaneously. This multi-function radar ensures high target identification and engagement accuracy and is what makes the M-SAM-2 one of the deadliest systems of its class. 
The MSAM-2 has off late emerged as one of the most sought-after surface-to-air missile systems on the global stage and is one of Korea's most successful defense products alongside the K-9 artillery system.